Oh my god, it's my voice, right? Hey guys, what's up? It's Kester here today. I'm going to be teaching you how to make an intro like you just saw. You may have not noticed it in my videos, but it's right in the beginning, and I'm not sure how you haven't noticed in my videos if I have if I put it in the videos. But um yeah, what this is called is called an overlay intro, and I'm gonna be teaching you how to make one, so um, what I'm going on Sony Vegas Pro 13. Um, I think you can do this on Adobe Adobe Premiere, but I'm not sure. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use the uh, the um, watermark that Dashlax made for me, and I'm just gonna bring this to three seconds, like that. And then what you're gonna once you've placed it and like put it how long you want it, you're gonna come to Media Generators, go to Solid Color and press Green. And then just want I mean, no not press it you wanna drag it in and then yep that's the green you want and then you wanna just make this as short as your intro and um, yeah this is going to act as the green screen so you can just chroma key it out when you um when you wanna put it in your videos so this whole intro is gonna be made with keyframes so like my one just zooms in and then it has a glint. With this one, it's going to spin around, so I'm going to teach you how to make this. You can copy this exactly if you want, but uh, what you want to do, you want to put a keyframe at the beginning and make the thing, the picture, really small, which I currently did not do, and just make it really small. Then you want to get a keyframe at about 15, double click again, and you want to just what I want to do, I want to make this um, do to, like do a spin. So for fifteenth one, I'm going to make it spin, which I'm currently doing now. And then you wanna have one at like around twenty if you wanna exactly like copy exactly what I'm doing, or do one at like one minute. I mean one second. I'm gonna double click again and just make it a bit bigger than it is like that so if you put it from the beginning it'll look like this oh, oh I've done it the wrong way around but yeah I think I've done this the wrong way around but it still works so once it has um what do you call zoomed in or zoomed out and done the spin um, we're gonna be doing something we're gonna have the like, little glint so what you're gonna wanna do for that is you wanna come down here underneath position press mask and I would say around at around 2 seconds of the thing go like that and we're just going to want to uh, get this rectangle thing and just draw a long rectangle and then you're gonna like, make it turn and as you can see like if I drag it across it shows the letters like bit by bit so what you're gonna want to do for this at the top it says mask it says apply to effect you want to press yes so then it doesn't hide the thing and then you go on feather type press both and then go to feather make it uh, 8 because that's a good number and then you want to place another keyframe uh, you can place it wherever you want depends how long you want the glint to be so I'm going to place it at uh, I'm going to place it around here So, and I'm just going to move this across the letters and it's going to be done and then what you also want to do is drag this to the end and make one up there and make it zoom in a bit and now if I place from the beginning it will go like that you can't see the glint right now because we haven't made it the glint yet now what you want to do you want to come on to video effects go to brightness and contrast and go to very bright so then you just want to place that on the letters then make the brightness 1.000 
and come off of that and then if you do it from the beginning it zooms it out and then it should show the glint which it did not do so I'm going to need to fix this alright guys I've just fixed it so you don't want to place another keyframe here because that will just break it so once you've moved it with the first keyframe in the mask section then it will make it will automatically make one so if I play this from the beginning for you guys it zooms into the video and you can kind of see the glint near the end. So let's show it again. There you can kind of see it. It's really quick though. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move this one around there. So then it's not so fast. And you couldn't even see it that time. So it's still really fast. So I'm gonna put this all the way back here and make it do it all over again and yeah there you go you've got your animated glint and then it disappears so yeah that's how you do that and um yeah what well, you can just render it now and if you want to get rid of the green background once you've um finished making this all you have to do is just go to video fx go to chroma key off, go to default put it onto the green background or oh, if you if it's already in a video and you saved it, put it onto the black background. That uh, put it onto the background of the intro, or just the intro in general. Then go to color, go to this uh, pick a tool thing, and just press the green, and now it'll turn black. And now it's just a transparent background, so it has the intro like that. If the listen, and you can add like sound effects to this, but um, yeah, this is what I thought you have to do. If you want some more um, tutorials on like Photoshop and Sony Vegas, then comment down below and uh, comment down below what um, tutorials you want to see me do and um, yeah, what videos you want me to make. And um, yeah, if you get four likes on this video, I really appreciate it. And I'm going to be doing a QA soon, so follow my Twitter, it's going to be on screen right now. And uh, yeah, follow it and send me questions, and I'll answer them in the QA. And uh, yeah, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next video.